Alrighty, and we're back with more niche with my wacky hair. <laughs> but uh, welcome to episode eight. Let's let's try to win. Let's continue trying our best to get the dub here. So I know we haven't moved on to the next island. I'm taking my time here. I don't want to rush things. I want to make sure I. Oh, it worked. Oh, she got pregos by the rogue male. Okay. Say la vie. That's fine. Um, I would think in this future, this family. In fact, here's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to do it off screen. I'm actually going to give them last names. It's hard for me to keep track of who's who without last names. Um, how they get passed down. I'm thinking matriarchally. Matri, matri, to the matrilineal side. Okay. So, whoever, and then whoever has the homeland immunity, they will take precedence, whether female or male, to then have the last name passed down that's going to be one way it's going to help me remember Alrighty, so i went ahead and named these families i didn't name the mothers because they're going to pass away and i use their names as the last names for example they uh her children will be kometa anata nolor anata and for her uh her her name is just anala again she's passing away so but for them i, I changed it to batala because you know remember remember this guy that was such a unique look right and so i named his kids nal but nal ball raw ball very inspired uh tall ball um so that's just what they're going to be named after the balls oh boy that can be troublesome um lata her kid here is israela israela lata i think has a nice ring to it um here i changed her name from mime to batala armahan so she went ahead and took the the founder's name. Um, I didn't like the name mine. Sorry, I wasn't feeling it. Amahan was her dad, if you remember. So Ellie Amahan and Tata Amahan. So specifically for them, because they have the homeland immunity, this is all headcanon now, because they have homeland immunity, their last names will take precedent. So whether female or male, they will be passed down. Whoever has homeland immunity gets the last name. She doesn't have it, but because she's of the same family, she'll have the Amahan name. We're going to have them breed. It's going to be gross, brother and sister. But they have the, the uh, enough diversity in their traits for it to not be uh, troublesome. As for Kokler, Meme. Their last name's Meme. If you remember Meme from so many years ago. <laughs> uh, Anala Meme's right here as well. She's chilling. Away from the group, unfortunately. She outcasts herself. That's sort of her MO. But um, yeah, we have the Memes here. Okay. They had a very tragic life. Hopefully their family can bounce back. I have uh, a hopeful future. <laughs> I'm hopeful that they will. But, uh, yeah. We'll see how far... I, I like this whole last name thing. I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to memorize them instead of just judging by the codes or judging by their names. Last names are going to be helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass the time now that we have families established. We have the, the balls... The Anata, the, yeah, the Anatas, the Latas, the Amahans, and the Amahan stand from the Batala line OGs, you know? And then you have the memes. <laughs> okay, let's just pass the time. Alright, let's check out these kids. There's a lot of births, a lot of births happening. And um, let's check them out. So we have another, wow, that is a funky last, that's a funky first name. Another Anata. So let's go ahead and name him. Unfortunately, he looks blind, which can be problem. So, but a blind, a blind. This, this, this could actually be a sign of of um this blindness. Oh, he didn't get the A gene. Okay. This blindness is nothing to be disappointed in. In that, remember, we had a blind creature who, by himself, saved this entire tribe. So. We'll name him Kuk Anata. Look at the Savannah horns. Very dope, right? Uh, how about this one? Oh, well, let's check out his more of his stats. A deformed paw, but he has nimble fingers, which is great. Um, Gene B. So we're gonna have to decide a mating pair for him. Um, yeah. It, it, let's go ahead and fix his mutations already. Let's get. Let's have him get normal eyes. So. I won't forget. I, I need to set this the day they're born, you know what I mean? Like, that's the only way I can not forget it. Oh, you have a... See, uh, Tall 
and Anoku. I'll call him Ku Cabal. Ah, uh, you get it? Kubal. I like that. Anyways, he looks like his dad. And then you look like your mom here. Nal looks like his mom. What's his trait diversity? Digging paw and nimble fingers. That's not bad. Uh, okay, so we need to worry about fertility. Fertility looks like some issue. Uh, let's get you to get normal for Is that normal fertility? You as well, normal fertility. That takes precedent. So I think this just guarantees is 50-50, right? It's 100% whatever the next creature gets or that their offspring will have these two, no matter what. For you, did you have anything? So let's do short-sighted or normal, normal eyesight, sorry. Okay, are you all set? Okay, how about the, the Anadas? Uh, let's just do nimble fingers. Okay, whoops. Well, the Anadas are all set, and so are the balls. Oh, look at you, the Latas. Let's check him out. Donda Glata. Let's throw in an H, shall we? Let's throw in an H just to be a little more different. So many things end in an A nowadays, you know? Give it an H. Give that silent, uh, Lata. All right. Um, deform paw. So uh, automatically, we're just gonna go nimble fingers for for him, for Don Duck. Um, she has that fertility. I want normal fertility for her. Um, and then we're gonna change his name from Don Duck. Don Duck Lata. To Don. Just Don Lata. Um, he looks to be okay though. Let's check out his traits. A and G. Good. 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 That G thing ago though is. It's problematic. G is now the new is now the new dominant trait in the entire clan. We have an A and H, so that's great. But, you know. It is what it is. H move her there. We're gonna have We're gonna have them breed once more. Okay, and then we're gonna have River hunt for food. Kosi. Oh, the one that was sick. How'd she make it all over there? Anyways, get food. A rogue male. A and B. High fertility. A and B. Now what we're looking for. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hunt him. I think Kirkler is gonna hunt him. Uh oh. Oh, Nimble Fingers also helps with cracking. That's great. That's great. I didn't realize that. Okay. We're actually gonna move this family up north, even further north. Um, she's not going to make it, but go ahead and destroy the nest. We'll have the whole family move north. Um, oh, there's fish right here. Show. Oh, she got pregnant? Um. A and B. Should we take- Oh, but she can't- Okay, she dies tomorrow, so. She'll get a chance to- to have the baby. My goodness. Oh, she died. She's dead. She died. She is a dead, dead creature. Three of them died. We do have a new birth. Let's go ahead and check it out. Donata. B and G. I'll call him Noda. Noda with an H. Just so we're thematically. Noda Lata. Uh, looks like his fertility is good. His number of fingers are good. Um, derp snout. <laughs> Distasteful appearance. Um, I don't think we have any other faces that we can change, do we? 
We have the Cracker Jaw. I wonder if that could be a thing for him. Yeah, let's let's see if the Latas can start doing the Cracker Jaw. It'll be interesting. So again, we're waiting on a. I think by day seven, day eight, we're gonna have her start breeding, but right now we're okay because we're at 16 population, which is pretty, pretty rough, so. Um, okay, so next, what I would like to do is start formulating uh, who's gonna be breeding with who. So, let's let's try and figure this out. For the Amahan line with Homeland Immunity, it seems like they are the only family that has it, so we might have them breed earlier. We're gonna, probably gonna have them breed... I want to say... Um, gosh, and I wasn't really totally focused on this, but I want to say they'll be start breeding by day 9, when they have 9 days left, because I want to make sure there's, there's a, a good line that has Homeland Immunity. What concerns me is Ellie Amahan. She's a B star. We don't have a male to help her necessarily. G H. Okay. So what we'll do is someone from the ball line, and it looks like their first born. No, their second born. Rawl. Will. And let's change uh, the way his name looks. Let's give him more. Spazaz. Rawl Ball. Let's change them all. Let's give them all the H. Huh? Let's be cool. Let's be a little more, you know? Let's just be that much more. And it's, I know it's Thal, but we're gonna go TH. You know, we're going tall. We're going tall. That's how we're gonna do it. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Koo ball. Pretty cool, right? Kikoo. Nal. Two ball, Nal ball, the ball or ta ball, and raw ball. Kirkanata, Nulanata, Nata, and Alata. Uh, meme. <laughs> and we just got meme. Okay, so Ellie Amahan will breed with raw ball. Um, and hopefully they can continue the line as well. So we're going to be moving Rawl up. Do the Anatas and the balls look like the Anatas and the balls will have to... We have Kirk who can breed with GH HF CH GF GH. It doesn't look like the balls and the anatas can can uh, be a good pair. Maybe the anatas and the latas. A H A G. <sighs> hmm. All right. Let's let's go ahead and pass the time, and then we'll start moving people into place. Alrighty. So I feel like we did a lot this episode. So what I'm going to do is in the next episode, we will start pairing them up. We'll start doing the matchmaker phase, get these families together that we can consolidate and then have them um, start, you know, dominating a certain area. I think that would be the best move. I think we have enough in our line. Um, we're at 16, which I think is manageable. We're at 53 food and we are in zones where we can gather more food. We're in a really good position here. And I think in this next generation, we can really start to get the genes that we want and not so much these random genes that we're sort of, you know, MacGyvering around, like nimble fingers. Um, hopefully we can eradicate uh, blind eyes from the line. A lot of it will come with time. And as generations continue, if there are rogue males and stuff like that, they will be more of anomalies in terms of their traits really interfering with with our line. As long as we can carry the Homeland Immunity gene, Homeland Immunity, yeah, trait, we should be okay. And it looks like the Amahans will secure it, I feel like. The Rawls, the Balls, and the Amahans are going to be, they're, they're just going to work out. 
As for Meme, he's hunting that rogue male. He 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 knows his aunt and his mother were attacked by rogue males, and he knew that his sister died because of the traits passed down. He wants vengeance. He is looking for blood. He may never find a mate. B and H. Hopefully he does. Poor Meme. He needs he needs some he needs a companion. But um, looks like River dies in a couple too. But yeah, it looks like we're we're doing well. I never thought I'd say this, but it looks like we're doing okay. And I know you don't want to count all your ducks in a in a basket. That's how the saying goes, right? But um, I feel pretty confident about this. So with that said, see y'all in the next episode. Hope you're having fun. Um, also weird that I say that. I'll see you in the next episode. I don't ver I don't actually see you. I can't see you. What about you? Can I see? In fact, you can see me, so you see me in the next episode. But that's weird to say, right? That doesn't sound pleasant as a sign-off. I don't know. Get out of here. Click off this video, will ya?